You're watching Mattel Comedian, and I'm your host, CJ, the uh, channel that goes through albums and gives my fan opinion on different styles and different bands. Today, we'll be going into Anvil with Impact is Imminent. As the title says, this album is very Impact. It is Impact and doesn't let up. It's honestly balls to the walls, heavy metal. Love it. Um, classic heavy metal attitude. Fantastic riffs, fantastic tone, what not to love about it. There's just absolutely amazing songs in this album. And yeah, to get it, here's my opinion on Anvil. You either love them or you can't stand them. It's, you. there's no in between like, okay, I love this album, but I really hate this album. It's mostly like, okay, you either love Anvil or you don't like Anvil. And I used to be... The type of person that didn't like Anvil, but over the years I've gotten to like them. I to like their albums pretty uh, heavily. This album is very impactful. It has very hard riffs, hard hard guitar parts, crazy groove parts. I just love this album from front to back. And let's go into standouts. This video is going to be a little shorter because I'm recording during the day and there is less chance of noise if the video is shorter. I hate that I... I just absolutely hate where I live, where my neighborhood is, because people are just so goddamn noisy around here. Um, standouts, basically all of them. All the songs. Absolutely love every single song on this album. Take a Lesson. Awesome starter. Awesome starter song. It's basically a song that shows what the rest of the album is about, but still giving you some good, good, uh, good metal. Ghost Shadow is Anvil, honestly. It's just Anvil. No complex, but has some balls. That's and that's Anvil for you. Even the uh, even the older albums like uh, uh, Metal and Metal. Yeah, it's basically balls to the walls metal, and uh, Anvil is known for not complex but has some balls. That's basically what Anvil does. Um, even with their last album, Legal at Last, I like that album because well, we already know what the hell that's about. Legal at Last it has the thing with the. Uh, Guy uh, with the bong on the front of it. Uh, another gunfight. Great lyrics, great groove, absolutely amazing song. Great. Uh, another gunfight is just. I usually don't pay attention to lyrics. It's like, I like more of the music part of it than the actual like lyrics parts of it. Like, there's some that I wouldn't. Yeah, basically that's what I go into. I'm. As a fan, I don't really look at the lyrics too much. Um, but yeah, it got me looking at the lyrics this time. That's pretty good because I heard the uh, whole thing like uh, like with the songs about another gunfight. Definitely like the uh, thing. Another Rain opening riff is absolutely Balls to the Walls. Like I keep saying Balls to the Walls because of the actual title of uh, Accept album. And yeah, that album has living li is living rent free in my head and yeah it is living rent free in my head and i haven't been able to get it out till i uh get it out of the uh my head ever since i listened to balls to the walls and it's the term that i apply to everything that is quite heavy um yeah don't look back another groove uh has the same type of groove that the other songs have Bad Side of Town has some good riffs. Wizards, Wand, Heavy, and Chuggy. It's got that classic, uh, like, if they guitar, if they played it on stage, you, they would be headbanging to it because it's so chuggy with the lyric, with the, it would kind of look like, uh, I'm not gonna, um, yeah, it's kind of those, that type of heavy metal. You have to listen to it to see what I'm saying, but yeah, it's that type of heavy metal where the riff is chuggy and the vocals are kind of like all over the place because that's classic heavy metal for you. Best song on the record. Honestly, Wizard One is my favorite song on this album. Uh, and another one to mention is Lockdown, a special song about the COVID uh, lockdowns. It's fun. It's very enjoyable. If Years down the road, probably when other people get into the song that weren't living during the uh, COVID, they won't know what it means. It's kind of like going to be like a weird thing that, like, if you know, you know, 
type deal. So yeah, I absolutely enjoyed this album. I thought it was uh, pretty good. Uh, it was. It's. I haven't really listened to Legal at Last so much, but I don't know if this is better. Honestly, I would kind of say it's on the same level as uh, Legal at Last. Legal at Last being a really good album as well. So, yeah, that's what I think about this album. I absolutely love it. Hope you guys liked it. I hope you guys like this one as well. Um, you probably want to hear other people's opinions. That's why you're here. But I'm kind of like the fan, a fan opinion. I'm not really like a big critic or whatever that knows like all the weird like musical terms and stuff about like musical theory and that shit. I don't know any of that stuff, honestly. I just like to... I'm just a fan that likes to get into albums and share my thoughts on the internet. Like, I, my opinions don't really fucking matter, but... So, yeah. Hope you guys liked it, and I will see you guys in the next video. And, uh, that will be probably next week, so... I'm quite busy, so... Peace.